Evolutionists claim the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible claims that uh, the Earth and the universe were created 6,000 years ago. Who's telling the truth and who isn't? Well, I have a question. If the Earth is really billions of years old, as evolutionists claim, then please explain to me why we find carbon-14 in coal, oil, natural gas, and we have found it in 12 natural diamonds. Now, carbon-14 breaks down relatively quickly. It has a half-life of 5,730 years. It should be completely gone in only 250,000 years. And the most sensitive instrument we have on Earth cannot measure carbon-14 beyond 17 and a half half-lives. That means that we cannot measure it beyond a supposed 103,000 years old. And yet we have found carbon-14 in significant measurable amounts in coal, oil, natural gas, carbonaceous clays, diamonds, all around the world. This proves that in fact these materials cannot be millions and millions of years old. They have to be less than 103,000 years old, but that would be totally consistent with an age of the Earth of 6,000. And if the Earth is really billions of years old, how do you explain the folded layers that we see of sedimentary rock around the world? Remember that these folded layers are layers of mud that have been laid down and then solidified into rock. Now you cannot bend rock, it will break. But you can bend mud like a potter with clay. And still water lays down flat. Now that tells us when we take a look at these folded layers around the world, we find in every mountain range of the world that in fact these are layers of mud laid down by the flood of Noah only about 4,500 years ago, laid down flat. But because of tectonic forces they were folded and then only after they were folded they dried out into hard rock. And that is the evidence we see on the earth today. This proves that the earth is young and you really can trust the Bible.